Hey everybody, I am here today to show you a little hack that you can do in Schoology to actually move worksheets into a digital form and have them graded. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to open up a Wonders worksheet that you can find just from the main page of your weekly stuff. And I'm going to take a screenshot of that. On a Mac, it is uh, Control or Command Shift 4. And on a PC, you're going to have to use the Snippet tool. So I just take a little screenshot of that. And then I come over here to Schoology. And from my course, I'm going to go to Add Materials, Add Assessment. I will name my assessment. Um, you could go ahead and give it a due date. You can give it a number of points. I make it the number of points that the grammar worksheet was. Um, you might enable, go ahead and enable your submissions drop it into a category, and then press create, and that's going to open up your assessment page. Now, um, there's all sorts of instructions that you can have, but I'm just going to here flip over here to questions, and this is where I'm going to start my question type. And the question type that you're going to use for this hack is called label image. So I'm going to choose label image, and then I'm going to set up my question by giving some Direction. Upload your image so you'll navigate to wherever that happened to have saved. Okay, and it pops that worksheet in here. And then what you do is you add responses. So this is going to be a better, best adjective activity. And there are 10. So I need to add 10 boxes. So what you'll do is you'll drag those boxes right over where the answer would go if they were handwriting it and sort of put it in the middle so it doesn't block any of the words. And then you write your possible responses. So for this, it says that the possible responses are better or best. So at the bottom, I just put in my first response and then I add a second. Okay, and I just have to do two for this. And I'll show you why in just a second. So now I'm going to set up my correct answers. And here, if I press duplicate responses, it's going to automatically duplicate all of those. And this is where I'm going to drop in the correct answers on my worksheet. And you can see that it just duplicated better down here and slid that right in. Okay, so once you have your answers all set up, you're going to come down here and now you're going to choose scoring type. Now to get it to um, add up to the number of points that this should be worth, so if there are 10 here and it's going to be worth 10 points, instead of having an exact match, exact mean, match means that this whole thing is going to be worth one point, but I worth, want it worth 10, I'm going to choose partial match. And so for each one that it gets right, it's going to add a point for the total of 10. And um, the nice thing about this is that I can also align my learning objectives. So I can just go here to learning objectives, find common core. This one's language arts. This was a fourth grade worksheet. So I'm going to go to my literacy language standards. This was a convention and it would have been a um, grammar. And so I just find the um, adjectives line that confirm and I should be set up and ready to go. You can explore some of these additional setup options like if your words aren't fitting in or if you have to do word wrap that kind of thing but mostly that's it and then I just press save and that question is set up and ready to go. This is going to be worth 10 points and if I need to preview I can start my new attempt here and this is what it would look like for students and they would just drag that option in there and review it at the end. So um, that's how you can hack your worksheets, put them in Schoology, align them to standards and have it graded for you which is amazing. So give it a try, let me know if you need help.